All right, let's take it from the NFC West over to the AFC North, the Cincinnati Bengals. Two straight appearances in the AFC title game, of course, in the Super Bowl two years ago. We know all about that receiving core. Those top three got to be the best around with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and Boyd as well. They do not have their quarterback, Joe Burrow, out for the foreseeable future with the strained calf. Optimism that he'll be ready for week one in Cleveland, but uh, Zach Taylor told our Tom Pelissero, I ain't biting on that one right now. So in the meantime, they got to deal with their backups right now. Trevor Simeon, who's been around since 2015, bouncing around the league. Jake Browning, you might remember him from his days at the University of Washington mm -hmm. where he made more than 50 career starts. Those are the guys under center for the foreseeable future. But this all begins and ends with Joe Burrow and maybe a contract extension and things like that. Because Tom said he and Ian reported that he might not be back on the field until that extension is done. Well, he doesn't have to rush the situation he's got with this uh, calf strain that he has right now. Uh, anybody that's had that, Chris, knows that you better make sure. it Because it might not feel great the whole year. It's just th that's the type of injury it is. But, you know, you look at the receiving core right there, T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase. I mean, that trio is as good as there is in this league. They've been able to keep them together for the third year. Make no mistake about it. This is Joe Burrow's team. We can look at Joe Mixon right here. they got a good backfield. Uh, they've upgraded the offensive line. Uh, Orlando Brown Jr. comes in to play the left tackle position. They've been trying to upgrade and build around Joe Burrow, which is the right thing to do. But I really like this team. And when Joe Burrow gets back out there, whenever that is, Chris, this is a highly, highly competitive team. And defensively, they've addressed a lot of needs. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of foundational parts. They've drafted defense the first three picks. So they want to keep uh, addressing that side of the ball. Um, you know, they've, they've struck gold in the draft and in free agency over the last three years. This is a very deep division, Baldy. Still the team to beat? I believe so. I believe so because of the success they've had in the postseason and what Joe has done, going to a Super Bowl, going to an AFC championship game last year. Like, he, that's his expectation, is to get to the postseason and to win in the postseason. It's something that Lamar has struggled to do. Kenny Pickett has not done it. we got to see just what happens in Cleveland this year. But Joe is, right now, the class of the division. Uh, and I think everybody's looking up at the uh, Bengals as a result. And it's hard to say that you would take any other quarterback, and perhaps that includes Patrick Mahomes, if you have to win a game away from home. I mean, he is just money. He doesn't care. He is so nope. cool. Uh, they are really an impressive organization, what they've built over there the last couple of years under Zach Taylor.